So I had these LED strips for a while now and I haven't used it for a project yet. These require 12 volts or a little less than that to power them. These are 5028 LEDs and I bought the color white. They are 5 meters long and the warning given at number 6 on the bottom is that we should not connect another 5 meter LED strip in series with this. If you're wondering why, well I have the same question as you. Maybe someone out there can comment down below and explain why that is. So these are actually waterproof but I'm not sure what they use to cover the LEDs. Almost looks like hot glue to me. We're going to use this 18650 battery that I salvaged from a dead laptop battery to power them. Let's check out the voltage and see what we're dealing with. So we have 4.0 volt to work with. I'll just show you real quick that this battery cannot power this LED strip. Even if it's at full charge which is 4.2 volts. So this is the solution to our problem. A buck boost converter. This will just simply boost the voltage or it can even bring it down lower than the voltage of the power source. In this case we need to boost the voltage so that our LEDs can work. On the left side is the terminals for the input voltage or power source. Just remember to connect the right polarity. And on the right we have the output voltage with its plus and minus terminals. So we are close to 12 volts so let's leave it there and see if we can power the LED strip. There you go, it actually works. Now we check how much the voltage drops to when we connect the LEDs. Okay, so we have 11.88 volts to start with and it drops down to 9.36 volts. So that's approximately 2.52 volts difference. Now we can check how much current is being pulled from the battery. To do that, you need to switch the positive terminal of the multimeter to the other port and switch it to 10A, which is 10 amps. That's always a good start because we don't know how much amperage we're going to get. So we're getting more than 2.5 amps and it's going up quickly as well. So this is too much for the battery. Right now we're going to turn it down to a much lower current so we can have more time for the battery to power the LEDs. Okay so 200 milliamps seems to be okay. The module does not seem that hot compared to what we had the first time. 200 milliamps is low enough to power these LED strips more than 4 hours. That's if you have a battery with a capacity of more than 1 amp hour. Then that's even longer. Of course the brightness is not that strong but it's good for decorating your room but up to you how much brightness you want. Remember the more you try to output the harder the module has to work and it will also pull too much current from the battery which is not a good idea if it's not meant for a high drain. So before we get going you need to add this to the circuit so it can protect the 18650 from being over discharged. So your B plus and B minus is where you connect your battery and out plus and out minus is for the outgoing voltage which in this case goes to the buck boost converter or your voltage regulator. Alright let's wire everything up and put it to the test. Remember to plug the battery protection board to the charger first to activate it. If you don't it won't output any voltage at all. You can use it without a battery but I don't think that's recommended. Okay there you go, you can use this method to light some LED strips for a special event. It's also a good idea if you're going for that romantic proposal to that one and only. Just make sure you check your circuit before you do that. Alright that's it for now, please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and also don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. It will help me a lot. Peace, we'll see you guys in the next one.